so we start with the superior oblique palsy so the basic funda is that superior oblique is a depressor uh, intorter and abduction the primary action is intorsion and the secondary one is depression so whenever there would be a superior oblique palsy we would get the opposite actions this means that there would be an elevation there would be adduction and there would be extorsion so basically you should remember these things now we come to the uh, let's say clinical picture now can you see here that this is a person this is right head tilt and this is figure b is the left head tilt now can you see the upward position of the eye is more in figure a than in the figure b so this means that the elevation is more in figure a as compared to figure b so in right superior oblique palsy there is more elevation on right head tilt as compared to the left head tilt okay now funda is that whenever there is more squint it would lead to more diplopia so the patient would prefer a position where is there is less diplopia now can you see figure a the elevation is more as compared to the figure b so uh, basically prefer figure b position because there is less squint in the figure b so a right superior oblique patient would prefer a left head tilt now we have made a small mnemonic for this basically it is boot and wook boot is better on opposite tilt this means that the in right superior oblique palsy it presents with the left head tilt and left superior oblique palsy presents with the right head tilt this means that on left head tilt there would be less diplopia in right superior oblique palsy similarly we can make another mnemonic that is w o o g wook means the worse on opposite gaze so the right superior oblique palsy would be worse on the uh right superior oblique palsy would be the worse on left face turn and it would be better on right face turn okay